guys, Poi here. Welcome back to the channel. A few weeks ago, I have installed and tested out this brand new 9.6 inch instrument cluster display for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. And after been testing it for um, a few weeks, and I think this is probably one of the best instrument cluster display that I have tested so far. It offers every functions that most people need Apple CarPlay, um, Android Auto, also all of the cars information right in front of you with blind spot warning, um, visualization, blind spot 2, and so much more functions on this display. So, in today's video, I'll share with you the new display, exact same display, but for new. 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland and I will share with you what comes in a box and then step-by-step -step installation and then we'll test it out and see how it looks in the Tesla Model 3 Highland. Now let's go. Let's see what comes in the box of this new 9.6 inch instrument cluster display for 2024 Tesla Model 3 Highland. As you can see here, these are everything that came in the box of the display. Let's check out the bonus item first. So if you are ordering this display right now, they're giving you free performance badge. Just basically it's the same badge that you see on the new performance model three Highland. And the next item here is the main wire harness. So you connect this to the car on the right passenger side and it came with two plastic plier tools and this is the functional front forward camera for the display so the package came with three different cable here so one is the demo fully installed plug cable so make sure you follow this one and the next one is the cable for your main display and the last cable here is the cable for the optional front forward camera and this is the display itself really nice really um, well designed on the bottom here you can see there are three different ports here the one in the middle is the main port that you'll get the power and the info from the car the right hand side usb-c port is for the camera and the left hand side is for micro sd card and last but not least this is the display mount that you will be installing on the dashboard and you attach this on the display with magnetic mount because the display has magnet in the back so you basically just attach to the display just like so it's really strong magnet all right now we saw everything that came in the box let me show you where you can get this new display you can get this new t9 display from tesla c or tesla c.com tesla c not only provide awesome products like this but they also offer really good customer service too from my experience as you can see here you have three four actually four different options on the display model y older model 3 newer model 3 and model 3 highland and left or right hand drive also without and with the camera and if you are interested you can use my special discount code that tc for extra 20 percent off all right now let's go and install it in the Tesla Model 3 Highland. Before we start with the installation, let me show you a quick look of the performance badge that came in the box. As you can see, after install on the car, it looks just like performance Model 3. Now let's start with the main installation. So first thing first, use the included plastic plier tool to open up the side panel on the passenger side. Before we do that, let's open up the rubber gasket or the rubber seal on the door first because you have to access everything through here then use the plastic plier to to open up the side panel as you can see there are no screws just a lot of clips in the back after that you have to remove a plastic locking clips as you can see here so you can remove the whole door seal panel now we have the full access to the OBD port it is an open port so you can just plug it in just like so and now before we plug in the power plug uh, make sure to turn off the car first just go to the main menu safety scroll all the way down and power off your car 
Now we are safe to unplug the power plug so we can get the pass through um, of the power from the car to supply the power for the display. And next step here, we have to remove the dashboard first. So use the same plastic plier to um, slowly plier the locking clips. Make sure you don't rush this part so you don't accidentally break the clips. After the first one comes out, then you can use your hand to help pulling up the dashboard. Then eventually the dashboard will be removed. And the next step here, use one of the included wire. Now we have to run this cable um, from the driver position all the way to the right side on the passenger side position. So by doing that, we just have to run the cable underneath the dashboard panel that we just removed. As you can see here, there are small spaces that you can thread the cable through from um, the left side to the right side of the dashboard. Now, at the end of the dashboard, there are a little cutout that you can actually put the cable down and then it will run all the way down to the right hand side of the panel we just removed. As you can see, the cable is coming out. You don't really need the tool here, just you know, do it slowly. Next step here, we have to put the plug in so we can plug into the box that is connecting to the OBD port. On the right side of the plug, there is the red marking. Make sure you plug in the pink cable into the red marking side and then the rest just white and follow to the left side of the plug. And make sure to push all the way in, you'll hear the little click. Now we are ready to plug into the box. Next step here, just plug into the silver box that connected to the OBD port. Next, you just have to manage the cable and put everything back in place. Now the main connection to the OBD port of the car is done. Let's move to the driver's side and remove the side panel similar way that we remove on the passenger side. Now we have to install and run the cable for the optional front forward camera. Next, use the remaining cable for front forward camera and then we are going to thread it similar way that we did on the passenger side for the display. As you can see, just thread it down from the dashboard and we'll go down on the side panel. Then we we'll have to um, thread all the way through because you will need the whole length of the cable so we can run it from here to front of the car. Now we're gonna thread the cable underneath the rubber seal as you can see. It is a flat cable, so it should be okay to go underneath the rubber seal. And again, thread it underneath another rubber seal. And because it is a flat cable, we're gonna thread it under the A pillar. There's like a space between the A pillar and the fender panel gap. You can use the same plastic plier to, to help insert the cable into that gap. Now open the front or the front trunk because we have to run the cable from that position on down to the front bumper grill. Before we do that, you have to remove the front trunk top first. There are, I believe, four different bolts that you have to remove. These bolts are 10 millimeters bolts. After you remove all the bolts, you can remove the top panel first, then remove the bottom top out. Before you can remove the top, make sure to unplug and remove trunk release button panel first. Now we can run the cable alongside underneath the top to the front of the car. Then again, install that white plugged onto the cable that we just ran. The same way that we did on the other side of the car for the display. And next step here, we have to attach the front forward camera on the bottom part of the front bumper. There's the vent area um, that you can attach the front forward camera to. Now insert the cable to the inside of that vent and then we can reach the cable from the top part and pull it up from there. Now we can attach the front forward camera in the middle of the vent area on the upper part and plug into the cable that we ran from the interior of the car. Last but not least, we have to put everything back in together 
inside the front trunk of your Tesla Model 3. And then go back to the inside and put every panels back on on the driver's side. Now we are ready to install the magnetic mount which will hold the main display. It has adhesive on the bottom. Now we just have to place it on the dashboard. Uh, make sure to aim it right in the middle of your steering wheel and adjust the mount to the right position. And the next step here, we have to put the dashboard panel back in place. Make sure to manage those two cables, the front forward camera and the cable for the OBD port because we have to plug those cable into the display. Now plug the cable from the front forward camera to the left USB-C port and plug the cable from OBD port to the middle USB-C port underneath. Then you just have to attach the display to the mount using magnetic in the back of the display. Then we can fully attach the dashboard panel back on. Make sure all the cables align well and manage well so it doesn't show at all and it doesn't block the locking clips for the dashboard panel. Now we are done with the installation of this display. Let me show you how it looks in the Tesla Model 3 Highland. First, let me show you the status on this display compared to the main Tesla display. As you can see, when I open the door, the door shows open on the display just like the main Tesla display. Also, when I open the trunks, it does the same thing and it shows the status on this display too. And if the UI, it doesn't show the status of the car in the middle, it still shows the icon on the UI just like you see on the main Tesla display. Now let me show you the information on the display real quick. You have the speedometer on the left, the car status in the middle, and you have the menus on the right. You have setting menu, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Car Life. You can use the touch screen, or you can use the scroll wheel on your steering wheel. You also have the PSI, your tire pressure level on the right hand side too. You have time, and the gear selector, all the warning lights will be here and also region and power on the bottom of the screen. On the left hand side you have your battery status, your range in miles and your temperature. Now you can scroll, change the UI using the scroll wheel on your steering wheel. Just scroll quickly, then you can change to five different UIs on this display. Then we go back to the main UI. Now let's go through the setting real quick. This is the main setting as you can see here. This is the display setting with the volume control. The brightness on the display you can change to auto or manual and you can change the mode on the display light, dark or auto. You can also change the car colors to match your car and turn on and off the rainbow road while you have your autopilot activate. This is turn on and off your optional front forward camera, your time, and the stop sign shape, general or American. The next one is control. You can change between bar and PSI, built-in speaker or Bluetooth, manual or auto, detect for your phone to connect to the display for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And you can also turn on and off the steering wheel button control. This one is to choose between left and right for the driver's seat and temperature on off the blind spot warning and manual or auto for the front forward camera. Let me show you that function. When you have a front forward camera setting on manual, you can activate the front forward camera by using the right scroll wheel and press to the left to activate the camera. Press to the left again to deactivate the camera and go back 
to the main display and when you have the camera setting on auto the camera will activate by itself after you shift the car to drive and when you drive faster than 10 miles an hour the camera function will deactivate and go back to your main display and the next setting here is system so you can change between different languages as you can see there are many languages that you can choose for the display and this is the UI you can do it manually on the screen faster to do it on the scroll wheel as I show you before and this is the speed limit you can select to any speed you want if you drive over the speed limit that you select the speedometer will change from white to red or black to red and this is the time zone for your actual time zone adjustment and last but not least the software update so you have to connect um, the car to Wi-Fi select your Wi-Fi um, and you connect to the car now with the latest software update you can change the graphic on the display to fit your car either Model Y, Model 3 HANA or the older Model 3 and you just select to fit your car and we'll use the over the air software update and update the latest version for the display make sure after you're done with the software update turn off the Wi-Fi otherwise if you don't turn it off it will disable the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so make sure to turn it off after you're done with the software update that's it for the setting of the display now let me show you all the functions while you drive the car and this is what it looks like when you activate autopilot on this display and it also shows the autopilot warning as you can see when you are not touching the steering wheels matching the main display of your Tesla and this is what the visualization blind spot looks like so if there's a car either left or right off your car it will show the gray car next to you but if you turn on the blinker or the signal light that car will change to red um, warning you that do not turn and also showing the red warning tab either left or right side of the display and when you change to different UI that doesn't show the car status or the blind spot visualization on the display it still show the blind spot signal as you can see there the red signal with the car either left or right of the display and also shows when you turn on the signal with the blind spot warning with the red tab either left or right side of the display as you can see now this is what it looks like when you use the Apple CarPlay with this display and again even with the Apple CarPlay functions being used on the display it still shows the blind spot warning with the red tab if you turn the signal and the car on either left or right of your car and here what the display looks like with 9 mode versions these are all different UIs when you are in 9 mode I really like the 9 mode though I think it looks so much better than the day mode because you don't see the edges around the display so it looks really nice and clean it looks like one big display as you can see in the video this 9.6 instrument cluster display for Tesla Model 3 Highland it's really really useful offers all the functions that um, I need or most Tesla owners need and most of all I love how well support Tesla C is they always um, have one of the best customer support and after sales support with all the information plus all the software updates for this display so this display has the over the air update so I believe they have sent um, more than five or six over the air updates for this display already and I love this display so far let me know in the comment down below what you think about this new display for Tesla Model 3 Highland and I'll make sure to put the link in the description down below with the special discount code for you too thank you so much guys for watching today's video make sure to click like if you like the video make sure to subscribe for more awesome contents like this we'll see you on the next video peace